The Aussie system is a system of reusable containers for food. So this right here is an Aussie container. Now our university just started using these, so I'm just going to walk you through an overview of what the whole system is, how it works, and that. So the premise behind this is instead of getting a whole bunch of disposable containers that you'll just bring back, throw away, and then it's just sitting there in the landfill. These, you can return the containers, get them washed, and then you can bring them back wherever you need to go. So right now during the COVID-19 pandemic, most meals are being eaten like in the dorm room versus a dining hall. So a lot of people just take reusable containers, package up the food, bring it back here, and then they just throw all that stuff away. This container allows you to put the food in here, bring it back, and then you can bring the container back to a certain machine and then you can get another container to bring out next time. So there's really no kind of waste here that you would have with a disposable container. When starting the Aussie system, you're given a copper colored coin that's no larger than a quarter. What you do with this coin is you give it to the dining worker who will then give you an Aussie container that you can put your food in. You are also given a coin holder which can attach to a keychain so that it's less likely to be lost and you can add it to any keychain so if you're living at a dorm you can just put it to the same thing that has your dorm key and your campus card. Here's the actual container itself. It's just a reusable container. It's just green colored. So it's made out of plastic. It says O2Go by Ozzy on it. And then it's just got this little clip here to just unclip it. And then your food is inside. It's really nothing special, but it's just a normal plastic bin. When you clip it down, the sides are not too open, so nothing really spills out. And then you just put it right on back inside the machine. Once you've finished your meal, simply take out any food chunks that were left in there, and then you bring the container to an Aussie machine, wherever that is located. So you bring it over there, you put it in a certain way, and it will scan the code. You press a button on the top screen, and then you get a coin back that you can then use for your next meal. Overall, I think that the Aussie system is a good idea. I think it's cool with the whole machines, how you can just simply put it in, get a coin back, and then do it. It kind of helps to ensure that obviously the boxes actually get back and then you can get more ones so people aren't just stealing them or whatever. Um, if you do indeed lose one of these coins, you can get another one for $4. So it's not a huge deal, but I mean, I think people would rather not pay $4 for an extra coin if they don't have to. But um, yeah, overall, I think it's so much better than just having a bunch of disposable containers. And it's kind of a fun little thing to, to bring it back and put it into a machine. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Tea Time. And I will see you guys later. <sighs> Finally, it's the weekend. Sit back, relax, watch some movies. Uh, just do anything. Let's check through the plethora of emails I have. Not a whole lot here. Missed call. Um, anonymous? New voicemail. Who, who could this be? We know you've relocated. No matter how far you run, you cannot hide from the truth. Lexar has done some fine work these past few months. He has most definitely put in his time. I assume you remember that forbidden fellow, and I'm sure you have noticed strange anomalies occurring behind the scenes. However, you have yet to meet the true mastermind thwarting your distorted aspirations. Remember, in life, there's always more than meets the eye. Time is relative, but just like reality, the time you have left can often be deceiving.